Tonight in Fox Community, a local organization is breaking down communication barriers between the world of the hearing and the deaf. Fox 33's Alexandra Meacham brings us an inside look. It's called a living language. It's a very conceptual language. It's a very visual language. It's not a written language. A, B, C. Sign language D. changes D. over time and includes different regional dialects with 400 different types across the world. Americans use American Sign Language, ASL. And it's not just English of the hands. ASL has its own grammar and structure. Interpreting takes time. And that can cause a lot of, uh, a lot of communication barriers. That's why deaf really need uh, interpreters uh, in the community. That's where Steve Evans and his family comes in to help. Hello. He and his wife got into deaf ministry more than a decade ago. Uh, the more that I learned sign language, the more that I really got involved in the community, um, the more that the love for, for the deaf really grew. About a year ago, they started the nonprofit Open Hands Deaf Services to assist and advocate for the deaf and hard of hearing in Northwest Louisiana. You know, the deaf kind of get pushed to the side and it's sad because nothing to be afraid of, there's nothing to that you should feel like that you have to handicap them. They're people just like we are. He says the deaf and hard of hearing are often not taught the same things. People of hearing are taught growing up. You know, deaf can drive, uh, but a lot of them aren't taught how to drive or they aren't taught budgeting skills or some of the basic things that you think of, uh, parenting skills. Um, some of those things are, are lost sometimes because um, they're, they're for lack of a better term, they're discriminated against. So, Open Hands hosts life skills training classes to help fill in the gaps. I tell people that, that deaf people are not all the same. So, so don't, don't misunderstand that. Um, every deaf person is special and they have special skills in their own way. Cody Campbell signs in ASL but can write in English, which he says many deaf are not taught. <laughs> He and his wife Melissa attend classes at Open Hands. Don't be afraid to approach a deaf person, communicate with them, with a deaf person. Um, deaf people love to communicate with people. Open Hands also works with children of deaf adults through their CODA program. Several members, including Cody and his wife, have children who are not deaf, but experience deaf culture at home, which can impact their language and social skills at school. You know, they're kind of caught between two cultures, between the hearing world and the deaf world. For all that deaf people People cannot hear, they're more in tune with communicating than hearing people can be. They examine your facial expressions and body language. And if you don't know how to say something, if you start with your ABCs, at the end of the day, if you can spell it, you can probably get it through. If you show an interest to learn sign language, they're going to help you through it. Young ones can learn how to sign too, like Evan's daughter. Do this. Oh, what's that? I love you. That's right. <laughs> goodbye could be goodbye, or it could be in deaf culture. A lot of times you'll see I love you. Alexandra Meacham, Fox 33 News. Great story, Alex. Open Hands Deaf Services does offer sign language classes for people to learn the basics. You can go to our website, arclatexhomepage.com, to find out more.